so today I'm searching for some nettles um, I want to make risotto with nettles and tincture um, nettles are one of my favorite food wild foods and food in general I think they're just so wonderful and so rich in all good things <laughs> irons minerals and vitamins and uh, I love them I love them and it's just so nice and peaceful around here <sighs> apparently pine cones these ones that are very dry are very wonderful to use for lighting the fire so I'm gonna grab a few <laughs> harvest only the top like six or whatever leaves um, of the nettle so usually these are the most tender and nice leaves and then the, the plant can keep sprouting and growing nettle plant is the plant of the boundaries and uh, a list that's according to you know plant symbology and um, I really like that kind of connection between nettles and our boundaries and I like to be around nettles when or eat consume nettles work with them when I need to have stronger and clearer boundaries. What I like about nettles is that they are very abundant and luscious and very giving. They give a lot. Um, they have so many beautiful, amazing properties for our organism. But they are very clear in their boundaries. You have to be careful in the way you pick them. Um, so I think that's a beautiful analogy. The nettles can help with our boundaries. I don't know if you understand that. Maybe I wasn't clear. This beauty is called garlic mustard or jack by the edge and it's called like that because it has an amazing like mustardy garlicky flavor and it's amazing in salads 
um, risottos, pastas, any, any dish that you like to put it. And it has this heart-shaped leaves with serrated edges. And it's just an amazing, tasty plant. The only thing is that it's quite invasive. So if you have it in your garden, you better, you better de-root de it, otherwise it takes over. Um, but it's nice that it's growing here on woodland edges.